We're back. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and we're back with uh, another vlog related stuff on a movie we just recently watched. Yes. <sighs> and then, you know what? My brain's not back yet, guys. Yeah, the movie we watched today, oh God. if you can't tell, Super Mario Brothers. The Super Mario Brothers movie. movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. It's a blast. <laughs> That's what this this, this 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 ain't no game. It's a live action thrill ride, starring Bob Hopkins, uh, John Luguizamo, and yeah. Dennis Hopper. Yeah, who played? Uh, oh yeah, Cooper. people said it's a blast. Is the Washington Post? Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, I'll let you read the uh, back description. You want to read the back description? Yes. All right. So it says somebody said it's eye popping special effects. That was by six, 60 second preview. Maybe they only watched 60 seconds of the movie. I mean, the f special effects were okay, I guess. Yeah, they were. And if you're watching it for 60 seconds, it's kind of hard to... Yeah. All right, so buckle up and hang on tight. The discovery of a parallel universe launches you into the adventure of a lifetime. Yeah, sure. Mario oh, and Luigi, God. two wacky plumbers, undertake a daring quest to save a princess in Dino Hatton? Dino Hatton, like Manhattan. Dino Hatton, like Dino Hatton. Oh, okay. A hidden world where the inhabitants evolve from dinosaurs. Mario, Bob Hoskins, who framed Roger Rabbit? And Luigi, John Luguizamo, regarding Henry, face deadly challenges from diabolical lizard king Dennis Hopper, Hoosiers, <laughs> and must battle giant reptilian Goombas, outwit misfit thugs, and undermine a sinister scheme to take over the world. Blast off for non-stop excitement with Super Mario Brothers, the live-action thrill ride that dazzled movie girls everywhere. Yes, oh. I dazzled, dazzled or baffled? Come on. Oh, I think they baffled. Certainly dazzled. <laughs> it in man. Come on, man. This movie. This movie is terrible. It was bad, guys. After watching it, I actually... You watched it uh, back when you were a kid, you said. No, no, I didn't. Or, or when I you were younger. I missed it. It was on TV, guys, a little bit. I saw a little bit of it on TV. And then I watched it uh, f a few years ago. And it was it was bad. Oh, my God. And it's bad today, too, guys. Uh, there's there's a theme of de-evolving in this. And I think we've just de-evolved after watching this. <laughs> I feel like I just got stupider. Because I think my brain cells actually killed themselves to forget. Because like, like oh, 24 God. minutes in, I was like, hey, hey D. Tyson, am I... I forgot what ha what just happened in the last thirty minutes of this movie. This movie, even the characters forgot what the hell was going on. Remember that? It's like Mario. What? They already forgot to do uh, where something was, or Luigi. Like, or, Luigi was forgetting something. I forgot. Just we'll, we'll get to that part. Oh, but yeah, man. this movie. This is back in that age where it's like a. Uh, they're make because video games were popular back then. Yeah. And we wanted to make a big movie to cash in on it. So stuff like you know Ninja Turtles, Transformers stuff. Some of it was successful, like say the Mortal Kombat movie we watched last time. And then this... they tried it with Super Mario. Sounds like a good idea. Nah. Man, it was just stupid. This so. came out in, I believe, 1993. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, uh, we were, there's a scene in the movie where there was a, a massive car chase where uh, Mario and Luigi were, on, were using a police car, right? Yeah. And then uh, we had a thought, well, I had a thought that, you know, maybe this inspired Maybe this inspired Mario Kart, guys. That'd and be I was scary like, enough. This, I, that, know, uh, that's, I was like, is that the one want, good oh, thing in this movie? Yeah. It inspired that? That'd be terrible. <laughs> so yeah, the movie... Okay, this, the way it started out, just kind of like, we're in a completely different movie. It start, yeah. starts talking about dinosaurs. And sure, in the Mario game, like um, Super Mario World, yeah. which I also have. Yeah, uh, world. Uh, in Super Mario World, they... There are dinosaurs. There is dinosaur land. Yeah, Yoshi. Like, look at this. I'm not. I'm not claiming to be a Mario fan, but I own the games. I like them, and they're good. Uh, well, you recognize most of the characters too. So, so yeah, you're definitely a fan because there were some names that I wasn't aware of, and he, he knew who the characters were. Like Big Bertha she is not a fish in this movie. Oh, uh, she's, she's like she, a big bouncer woman. She's a the... big black <laughs> bouncer fat lady. I oh yeah. I feel so bad. For one that. of those scenes was ex was uh, extremely uncomfortable, right in the uh, the club or wherever they were in. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was that was just. It didn't make any sense. Well, and other and also not only did they ruin Mario, they ruined the, the Super Scope. Yeah, they had Even though super it was Super Scope was featured, yeah. It was in the movie as the yep. de evolution gun. Yep, it was. Oh my God! Look at all this Mario stuff I have. <laughs> like. Well, this is one thing you don't want to have, guys. Don't don't have this in your collection, honestly. Jeez. I was like, I'm surprised you still actually have the movie in in your collection. I shouldn't, I know. But but yeah, okay. So the movie starts out talking about dinosaurs and how this meteor that killed them split their dimensions apart. Yeah. So now there's a dinosaur world, and now there's 
our world, yeah, so the human Manhattan world. Manhattan and Dino Hudson. Yeah. And it's not too far of a stretch because Mario was dragged in from our world into another world, the uh, Mushroom Kingdom. So yeah. it was still a little weird, but eh. it was still weird. But you know, it wasn't too far fetched if you think about it. Like for instance, you remember when uh, they got took they t- they were taken into the police station, yeah. and it was like, "Hey, what's your name?" It's like Mario. What's your last name? Mario. Yeah. And it's like, you think about it, it's kind of stupid. And I thought it was stupid too. Yeah. Luigi is like, what's your first name? Luigi. What's your last name? Mario. And it's, it's like, what? why would you ever do that? But then you said, well, they're the Mario brothers. And then I had to pause and be like. <laughs> That's still pretty silly though. I don't know. Is it a- I was like, you somehow made sense of that scene. They're called the Mario <laughs> brothers because their last name is Mario. And I was like, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, what the fuck, like, five times in this movie when something stupid happened. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm trying to think of one scene that really made you, had you going, um... I just had to break out of it. There was something else. What, what was it? Damn it. Uh, I remember... See, this movie is already, like... Yeah, we already forgot most of it. Oh, jeez. Because we don't want to remember it, but we're... But we sort, I sort of want us to just for this video. I think the part with Toad made you cringe, too, where they, uh... They... When he appeared or yeah, when something I, happened to him? I think when something happened to him, or you were surprised that it was Toad. Like, when you heard Toad, you're like, oh, no. You're like, that's... That, that, <laughs> Toad is played by a guy who's like a hobo on the street yeah. with a guitar. He's not the Toad of a big, giant fungus head. Yeah, they totally messed up. <laughs> and Luigi always says this thing in the movie. It's like, trust, trust me, me, trust yeah, me, yeah, he trust me, trust He's me. He's like, Terminator, trust me. Right, like Arnold or something. Yeah. Oh, my like, God. Shut up, Luigi. Luigi acts really high in this movie, yeah, I gotta say. too much say. fungus, I guess. Trust the fungus. I was, like, I was like... Instead of use the force, trust the fungus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, I can't <laughs> believe it's like it's... I, I kind of didn't catch that, but it kind of you can kind of see the resemblance yeah. of it. But it's just like... Just trust me. It's like, no wonder he jumps so high in the in the games. And technically, mushrooms do, do kind of make you high, so there was that. <laughs> Yeah, the Mushroom Kingdom is just Manhattan. Actually, I, I mentioned halfway in the movie, I was like, this entire movie seems like it was shot behind a garbage truck. Because there was, there was the junkyard, then there was the garbage truck, and it was like, we, we don't even know where we are. We're, like, I just know we're in a city I mean, somewhere. the film itself is a pile of trash, so I guess it makes sense uh, that it's filming that kind of location. Yeah, but so, yeah, oh my god. Uh, one thing I will say, Dennis Hopper, man. I mean... Yeah, I mean, he's an, I mean, he's generally good at playing villains, but uh, this felt very comedic. Like he was, the way he was playing it, and creepy at the same time. Oh, when uh, he was talking with Daisy, yeah, he with acted Daisy, like yeah. a complete rapist. Yeah, it was pretty. But I mean, some of it, the way that he played the role kind of reminded me of uh, Doctor Evil later on, which came out probably a few years after this movie. See, that movie was a com- was a comedy. It was supposed to be a comedy, I and guess... it didn't ruin anything. No, but this was trying to be. I mean, based off a of video game, but it, it went <laughs> in an entirely different direction. It, it had the video uh, game name, but it had nothing to do with the video game. And uh, yeah, I'll check if there was any you know na- mention of Nintendo, and there's yeah, we checked. There's no I no don't, mention. I, I couldn't find anything anywhere here. So, so. there. I don't know. Like, was this yeah. even approved by Nintendo? I don't think like, so, yeah. like the Wizard. That was just a huge <laughs> advertisement. I expect for Mario even Three. Yeah. And you know what? Here's another. I mentioned this like just before we recorded this that there's no Nintendo seal of quality yeah, on no, this. No seal of quality, guys. See it? Granted, it's nothing. the DVD, but yeah. I imagine the poster didn't have it either. No, I don't think so. That's that's the first sign of trouble. If there's no Nintendo seal of quality. <laughs> And uh, what do you think about the acting of you know Bob Hoskins and uh, you know I ac- I actually Ruby's thought animal. I actually thought he he, did okay. he would fit he fits a good Mario if only yeah. there was a better script and plot behind and he was also in Roger Rabbit which uh, I didn't recognize because his mustache was yeah. in the way and I was like I had to look at him and like oh it is the detective guy yeah I think he did well uh, I don't know if you, if you're aware of this but apparently Danny DeVito was given uh, the script. And they wanted him to be Mario, and he turned it down. <laughs> I can't blame him for that, but yeah, Bob Hoskins maybe needed the money, and he he went along with it. But he he you know he did well. Um, I think he. I didn't get pissed off at him. No, he, I he thought he was well. fine. Luigi Zaimo, I mean, he played the character really like as if he was high, as you said. But and yeah, and also at another point, I was like, when they're in the desert and his shirts and stuff, I was like. I was like, that almost looks like uh, Taylor Rotner, like from the Twilight <laughs> movies, if he when he wasn't like all beefed up. Yeah, there's just some a lot of scenes that didn't make any sense, guys. And Yoshi, I mean, oh fuck, man. the animatronics were pretty. I don't know. The animatronics was 
Oh. Okay. Yeah, they had the big tongue at one point. You were you were, you weren't sure if they were gonna see that. Now, but, uh, Yoshi's not green, and, although there are brown Yoshi's. And so. lot smaller too. Maybe you can't ride them, and it's, maybe they're trying to say it like it's a re- recently born, perhaps. I'm, I'm not sure. But he's been chained to the thing. Oh no, the chain. <laughs> Yoshi at one point gets chained in the room of Daisy. Yeah. By the way, Princess Peach is not in this, so you completely no, it's fucked Daisy. that up. Yeah, Daisy's in it. So Yoshi's chained in the room at one point, and I was I looked towards you because later he bre- he's out of it. Yeah, he broke the chain. Or no, like he broke out of the room because I thought he was chained to that room at that point. So it was like, wait, he got out of that? And then Daisy goes up and it's like, oh, know, you poor breaks- thing. And I'm like, <laughs> you, you could have taken that off. You didn't break it. You didn't do anything. You just like... Oh, <laughs> you poor thing! <laughs> Fuck you, movie. That another was so another thing that insulting surprised us was the fact that yeah, Pr- Peach is not no ma- not mentioned here at all. Neither is uh, Princess Toadstool. We have this woman oh, called. Oh, they're both the same. Yeah, Mario's girlfriend is Daniela. Like who the hell? At first, Daniela? I thought it was Paul Pauline from like the Donkey Kong no, series, and I'd been like, oh, that's kind it's of a funny Daniela. thing. Daniela, I never heard of this character. I guess she's created for the movie. And uh, maybe Nintendo didn't allow her. To be in it? I don't know. Is that possible? You're able to have Mario and Luigi. And it's just like, you had all this... Uh, maybe that's why they didn't... It is not... It's not... I don't see Nintendo no. on, on this on this thing, so probably that's and why. Another thing, not not one time in this film do Mario and Luigi ever stomp on anything. They don't jump on anything, right? The one... I don't think they do. They just use Mario their, kicked he, Koopa he, at he one uses point. The, he uses the boot to, like, launch yeah, Koopa, but he doesn't actually... Like, physically have it on his foot. Like, he throws the... Right? He just throws it. Yeah, which is... Like, he launches, like... That doesn't make any sense, so. I was gonna think, like, the the, the Kurobi boot from 3, where you can <laughs> hop in and do the thing, but uh, you can't even count that. And no. speaking of Koopa, he does not look like Koopa. Not at all, He's no. just... He's just Dennis Hopper in a human form. Like, like, near the end, he does, I mean, look more like a, a weird T-Rex. Yeah, that was, that was weird. It looks station. like something, like, another dinosaur time. Or whatever that movie that Whoopi Goldbrook was in that starred her as a detective with a dinosaur. Theodore Rex. Oh, I don't remember that. Wow, Jeez. <laughs> wow I can't believe I pulled that out of my ass. I pulled it better than this movie. Yeah. And and the Goombas. They're not Goombas. They're just big guys in suit with tiny, tiny heads. You know what heads. they remind me of? I don't know if, if you've seen the Beetlejuice. Ever seen the movie? Oh, I can see what you're going for. But no, I haven't. In that movie, near the end, there's this guy who... Uh, I don't know his name, but he has like this sand, and when he pours it on somebody's head, their head shrinks, and it kind of reminded me of the way the Koopas look in this film. They probably got inspired by that at the uh, scene in Beetlejuice. Oh shit! But that was oh my god, that just boggled the mind. I think that's 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 how small our brains get after watching this. Like <laughs> your brain, like like I was yeah. I was because Daniel or D Tyson here was telling me like uh, oh this movie is bad, and I know it was bad. Yeah. I went in there expecting it to be to be bad, but even with my expectations that low. Yeah, was... I was still not prepared for this, and the reviews I saw, it didn't seem that bad, but it was pretty insulting. Even the nostalgia critic didn't prepare you for this, right? No, no. no. His, re- in fact, his like now that I look at his, now that I think about his review again, it wasn't that good. No, no. So he missed out on, on a lot. Of <laughs> they didn't actually talk about the really, really bad points that just bugged the. Just it was just insulting to, to the mind. Yeah. Try... Yeah. So it. So the move. So the movie. They got the part about them being plumbers right. They, mm. It involves... The, the reason they get into, like, a dino Manhattan... It's not called the Mushroom Kingdom, but there's fungus everywhere. Is uh, because uh, Luigi's girlfriend, uh, Daisy... Which, their relation is just like... Yeah, they just met. They just met, and that's it. We're all over He helps w. her make a phone call, has a quarter on him. And I guess she finds him cute, sort of. So it's like, oh, he's kind of innocent and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and Mario... But, uh, the relation is... Mario helps cool. Luigi, and I guess, talk to her because, he's, you know, Luigi's shy and... <laughs> and really high. <laughs> but yeah, uh, an event leads to another where... Oh! Iggy and Spike! Oh, yeah. They're humans, and they're... They're retards. They're in the Super Mario... Actually, they're in Super Mario Brothers 3 as the, as the bosses you can fight. Iggy and Spike. And it's like... They're, they're idiots, and they're trying to kidnap Daisy because uh, King Koopa, their cousin, not their father or, like, you know, whatever, tells them to go kidnap Daisy. She gets kidnapped. Luigi and Mario come to go, go after her and help, and that's how they end up in Manhattan, and then all the crazy, stupid shit happens. It's like, at one point, I was like, I've never seen Cool World, but this is what, I, this is what I'd imagine Cool mm-hmm. World would be. Yeah, another thing about Iggy and, uh, what was it, Iggy and Spike, was it? Yeah, Iggy and Spike. Yeah, they just seemed like they were kind of inspired by, you know, characters like Bebop and Rocksteady from Ninja Turtles. Or some sort of punk. Or even, like, 
what was it, the uh, Balkan Skull from the Mighty Power Rangers battle? Yeah, I would but put did this that come, there. Did this come around the same time? Maybe? Uh, it's Power Rangers? I think Power Rangers was 1995, wasn't it? Oh, it was 1995? Or was it four? I, I don't know. We it got was, our years yeah, wrong. Yeah, it was either 93 or 94, yeah. One of those. It was that bully phase. Oh. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, right! They, remember the opening scene where the where like the lady comes to the yeah we don't even know who that is like it's I guess it's Daisy's mom Daisy's they don't mom mention who which she is the is. queen it's like yeah. that 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 cliche was played so much where it's like I gotta leave my child with some other people to take care of yeah and, like that was so played out in the nineties like and it it's was, an actual egg it wasn't she wasn't uh, a, a human form yet yeah so. she, she was born from an egg because <laughs> she's from the land of the dinosaurs stuff wait yeah her. Her father... Her father D evolved to a fungus. Yeah. So, then shouldn't end... she have been like a mushroom when she arrived then? And not a dinosaur egg? Yeah, that makes any sense. And then, back to King Koopa being a creepy, like, rapist when he, she was talking to her. So, you're telling me he kissed her when she was still an egg? How did he kiss her and be like, A dinosaur never... A dinosaur girl never forgets her first kiss. It's like, wait, you kissed her before she was born and somehow long... What? So wait, do you think he somehow like altered what she was? So he's gonna turn into a dinosaur? I don't know. It's weird. Was her mother a dinosaur? And like I don't her it. mother <laughs> like uh, was married to a fungus king, and that's the mushroom kingdom. Yeah, it it's filled with fungus. It really doesn't add up, guys. No. Also, I, I mentioned the fungus looks like vomit at some point. Like it's just like bleh, everywhere. Yeah. It's just it, this movie is unpleasant it you, it to makes, look at. It makes you want to vomit. That's why this movie is it's, unpleasant to look at. It's just really dark and yeah. tries to be. Gritty, I guess, sort of. I, I don't know. I yeah. can't tell what this movie's trying to go for, other than pure stupid junk. Yeah, because I mean, like the rating is PG, uh, oh, but yeah. I, I would not, I would not take a child to watch this. Because sure. there was like a. So they said sci-fi action, mild language, and sensuality, which is probably from that. Uh... Okay, they got, they got it. Yeah. Like you put sci-fi within Mario, and then if it's not Mario Galaxy, <laughs> it, it, you got it all wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned like uh, the the dance club, like oh the, the dance club. You they had strippers there. Yeah, almost. Or yeah. you know like you know yeah, they weren't people in. Yeah, the they team. weren't like stripping, but yeah, still. I was like, <laughs> sorry. Just like they were no, dancing. Yeah. No. And uh, and they also said kill a lot. Like I'm gonna kill you. I'm yeah. gonna kill you. It's like even Mario said I'm gonna kill you. Mario right? Brothers. Yeah. You ki- well yeah you kill enemies, but you know it's not like Mario is like I'm gonna kill. You. Uh, it's the me, I'm Mario. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna <laughs> like we know, but you know you don't mention that. Huh. <laughs> oh, and then the flamethrower guns to just do the fireball thing because uh, Mario never like uses the mushroom to grow, but it turns into a shield. Which yeah, is weird. Right. I was hoping for, for a scene where we at least see like a flower and Mario get the you know the firepower. Oh, like the nothing, f- nothing happened. Like or that, you know yeah. a fire split or fire spitting flower. Like he grabs it and shoots it because like for instance in Smash Brothers, yeah, uh, when when you grab a fire flower, you just spray it around like a flamethrower, and it's like you, you could have done that. No, we gotta have guns. Because Daisy, I mean, technically her name is a flower, right? But there was <laughs> there was no no sign of an actual flower. I don't think in the whole movie. Yeah. They could have this used, yeah. this movie is devoid of life. <laughs> I think so, because even the scene with the mushroom, I, what would made more sense is if we actually had a shrinking scene where maybe Mario got you know badly hit or Luigi and they shrunk, or and then there was a mushroom. That you know that would have made sense, but there was or, no mention of any video game reference uh, other than except the, for the bomb. Which yeah, is yeah, the that's only true. That's thing. true. And and the it's, car- by the way, that bomb is sponsored by Reebok because underneath it's oh yeah, you're right. It's Re- <laughs> Reebok. So I'm like oh. Geez. And then there was that oh water bottle, the avian. Oh, yeah, avian in the water. Uh, right. Yeah, but the Bob, it was able to, like, walk on walls and stuff, and I'm like... Yeah, the product placement was, was pretty strange. I think Reebok should have... Uh... Gotten a refund. They, yeah, had refund. A be- they had a better product placement in that vampire game that never got released. Reebok, or... Dracula's Night Out. Uh, Let's see. Uh, what was it? What was it? Yeah, I'm trying to recall what else we can mention, guys, but this is a pretty... There's free- no Mario Brothers oh, theme. What happened? Yeah, there is no Mario Bros. theme. Yeah, which is... It feels weird. I mean... Yeah, the music... Oh, you mentioned the music maker composer yeah, yeah. was uh, the guy from... Yeah, Alan Silvestri, the same guy who composed Back to the Future and Predator, which are epic, epic themes. And uh, he, do, and he, he composed the composed music this for crap. this? I feel sorry for him. Because... I don't even remember what happened and what music was yeah. playing. You know what I think happened, guys? Uh, usually when they get a musical composer, they, they make them watch the movie and they'll try to fit the, the mood of each scene. I think he just like watched it and he's like, what the hell is this? And he just couldn't feel like 
Like he couldn't, he couldn't uh, get an idea. Like come up with the music that would fit the spirit of this game because this this game has no soul. Sorry, this movie has no soul, man. It's terrible. Yeah. So, so that's probably why he couldn't come up with anything. There's no Mario Brothers theme, but there is a Mario Brothers theme in the DVD menu. But we're not counting that because that no, was added that's later a- after the fact. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I went into the caption screen? It was like uh, words for the audio impaired. I yeah, was like, yeah, it's for the audio impaired. I was like, that's. Or for just, the, just put subtitles. Or for the hearing impaired, yeah. I was like, why do you was... need to bring that up? It's like, uh, it's kind of like giving the middle finger to people like, uh, hey, here's a subtitle for those of you who can't hear this awful movie. Those who can't hear this awful movie, you get to read this awful movie. Uh, maybe, which might be better, actually. I don't know. Because <laughs> you have the, maybe more left to the imagination than hearing what the crap. That is kind of sad. Yeah, that's sad. But... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so we mentioned that the uh, Daisy's father has been de-evolved into a uh, fungus. Yeah. So it was like, so he's helping the Mario Brothers throughout the city as by, a fungus. By as like... a fungus by putting things. And Luigi keeps noticing, like, hey, this tiny ass bomb. Like, if I was there, I wouldn't have seen it, would you? It was just, like weird. Yeah. And just trust me, he kept seeing that. He jumps. Well, he at one point he jumped, but it was like an inside joke because he had he was hanging, right? Oh, wasn't it? What was oh, that, that terrible was, scene. That was just the most. He's like, he might trust me until he jumps, but he was hanging on uh, by a, th- a he rope. Realized right? it, like a yeah, he realized it like a hook. He realized it at the last second. And then Mario, you know, thinks, okay, I'll trust him, I guess. And then he does the same thing, but then he just drops. So it was like it was like this. They were both here. Luigi yeah. jumps, and I assume like he jumped. He was lowered. I don't think he jumped high enough to be hooked onto a hook. Yeah. So I so I'm gonna assume he jumped and he was low enough for Mario to see the hook. So somehow Mario doesn't and see the realizes. hook, and it's just like. Okay. That was that was that just. What was that? That was so stupid. I'm trying to think of other moments that uh, had us cringing. Big Bertha, like you mentioned, yeah, who was uh, who was a who I'm pretty damn sure it's the red fish in Mario Brothers Three that eats you, because the tiny fishes are called bloopers. So Big Bertha, which would make sense, yeah. is a big is a big black fat bouncer lady, <laughs> and it's just like. Yeah, that's what I think of Big Bertha when I think of, uh, well, Big Bertha. It's we- it's just weird, and like she kind of gets along with them for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I was trying to think, why would they choose this, this character as Bertha? I mean, there was a mention of WrestleMania. Remember, like, Mario was going to take Daniela to WrestleMania or something? He was supposed to do that? Oh, yeah, I was like, Daniela. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> man, I feel bad for there... people called Daniels. <laughs> there was a wrestler... Well, like a bigger wrestler, a female wrestler called Birth. Oh, sorry. Oh, whatever. Bertha Fay, but that was around 1995, which was after this movie. So yeah, that doesn't apply. But it's just weird that they chose yeah the character for as Big Bertha. Um, what else can we say about this so- forgettable f- movie? <laughs> you know, you ever heard of Nat Cole King? Who? Nat Cole King. He's a Famous singer who had a, a song called Unforgettable. Well, this he should have made a remix for this film, guys. Forgettable because this we is should have watched this instead. The Yoshi's Su- Island, Super Mario World Two, Yoshi's Island, Magical Tool of Yoshi's Island. We get more <laughs> enjoyment. Yeah, because it's based on the video game, but obviously it's advertisement yeah. sort of stuff. But you know, I'd rather watch that. I thought this was like a Mario movie, but no, it's just a showcase of the game. Yes, I really think it, at the end of the day, guys. They should have made an animated Mario movie. Yes, this is by, just... By Nintendo, not not a live action. I know a lot of movies were trying to be live action, but you like know what? Ninja Turtles. But most of them failed. Other than the uh, the original Ninja Turtles actually did well as a live action Surprisingly. movie. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. But this did not. And uh, Mortal Kombat, which Mortal Kombat it was, was okay. acceptable. It was, it was okay. acceptable for the okay. live action. I'm trying to think of other ones that are actually okay. Um... Based off of a video game. Um, well, we haven't seen Double Dragon, but we've heard bad things about that. I, I heard bad things I don't about know if that we should watch too. <laughs> and uh, Robert Patrick is in that. Yeah, he is. He's a villain. He's yeah. a Shadow Warrior. Yeah, basically, this movie uh, should not have been done live action because there nah. were just so many things that just wouldn't work. Yeah. Like, oh, when they when they they don't when they jump, they use rocket boots, which is like. Yeah, you never see that in the in the movie. It was almost like actually we we made a mention of this near the end of the film. Actually, well, basically near the end of the film, uh, the way they hint at a potential sequel, it's almost as if they were expecting it to inspired be by Back to the Future. Remember the way it ends? Yeah, it kind of has that. Like ins- you're not gonna believe this, like like in the future or something, right? It's like what is this? 
And they did so bad, guys, that the, the sequel was never made. It was never made. I think it was pretty yeah. obvious, and they had a little too much confidence. I can't. I just. Yeah, and actually, I didn't know this, but uh, Wizard pointed out uh, yeah. after watching some kind of review that uh, there was actually something following the credits, which is was kind of unheard of back in the day. At, at this point in time, movies didn't really have things after the credits, like but, a little bonus at yeah, the end. And now, I think most people would have ran out of the theater. Yeah, by now it's point. more common, but. When I first watched it, I didn't know. So he told me today, and we saw it. I was like, wow. Okay, that didn't really... So at the end, there were these two guys who were supposedly the Japanese developers, like Shigeru yeah. Miyamoto, <laughs> which his name should not be in this movie, where they're talking to Iggy and Spike about, uh, hey, we want to make a video game based off your adventures. So how did they... And you were like, how did they know about this? And uh, uh, it was like, oh, it's a cheeky little, hey, we made a video game. One of them was called like, Iggy's World, I think. Iggy's, Iggy's World. World, which I think actually existed. Yeah, it's something about like the... Uh, Koopa Cousins or something? Super Koopa super, Cousins. Super cousin, Instead uh, of Super Mario Bros. Cause uh, get it. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. The TV was like a... The Mario Brothers. More like the Super Mario Brothers. And they're all excited. It's like, oh, my God. It was... That was also a weird thing. That news announcer only announced, like, the like the return of... Three the, weeks, right? After three weeks, they <laughs> then announced, like, hey, we... Hey, we say uh, all the missing Brooklyn girls have been returned to the families. Yeah. You took three weeks to do that. <laughs> Two days, maybe. Three days, maybe. But at least within the first week. Yeah, three weeks later. Uh... Oh, man. Oh, I know we're missing a lot. Oh, remember that tube when they're sliding out of the Koopa Tower somehow led back into the city? Yeah. How? Why? <laughs> oh, and then before that, da one of the um, Danielle's uh, friends. friends there. Oh, that part. When, when she was like a... Hey, my boyfriend is up there. It's Mario. So, uh, shush. Sh did she say shush? Like, yeah. be quiet. So, that shush. And she looks at it. It's like, Mario! And the guards <laughs> get alert. And it's like, I was like, stupid bitch! <laughs> yeah. This movie is just. Oh, man. If you, it's very... I, I think even if you're not a fan of the movie, I think you'd still be pretty insulted by this. Like, it just treats you like an idiot. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm still trying to get the brain cells back, guys. I don't know if I ever will, but, jeez, wow. Well. I really de-evolved after watching that. <laughs> yeah, so so they took the super scope and made it into a de-evolved gun, which turned things back to their pre-evolution form. So when uh, Dennis Hopper shot at the scalp scallop, I, I it, it was scallop. The, the yeah. other competing uh, plumber company, he shoots him, and then you get the monkey thing. Where he's like, monkey, <laughs> and then they used it on uh, Koopa later to turn him back into that terrible T Rex thing. Uh, but I did, but it did say at one point like the the liquid thing looked good actually. Like yeah, it was, it was like, reminiscent uh, of like T one thousand. Yeah, bit. I was like, if you use that in the in the Terminator movie with the T one or the yeah the T one thousand with the liquid metal, it was like that effect wouldn't have been too bad. And I also said that the disintegrating effect wasn't too bad yeah, either. Yeah, that was okay. It, it, it was like it's... the effects were wasted for this movie. I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else we can talk about now. Those po police cars also. Those police cars have no, no brakes. brakes. Yeah. They have to be stopped by a rope. <laughs> what sense does that make? No sense. And at then, all. like when they went through that tunnel, the desert tunnel or whatever, it was like these cars don't want to run on gasoline or something. They run through this like radio wave that powers the car. What? So they went into the tunnel. It cuts off the power. But then in the desert, they, you you could have used the car there. Yeah, it was a really strange alternate universe uh, when they're using. I guess computers, they don't actually use a mouse, like you pointed oh! out. They use, they use guns, so they shoot. Oh, God. They use it to point and, and point shoot. It. Yeah. You know what would have been insulting? Yeah. If they used an NES zapper for that. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have, actually. Actually, you know what? There's one scene I kind of liked, and I think you thought it was clever, too. Uh, when Mario and Luigi get captured by the police, um, you know how, like, generally there's a mugshot right, that's done? I, I thought it was kind of cool the way that they did it. Because it looked pretty, it would be pretty scary actually if you're in that situation where you're, you know, they're about to get shot. Because it looks like they're gonna shoot you. They have the red dot coming on them, and then they, that they take the picture instead. They don't actually shoot them. They they take a picture when the red dots on them, but then it makes them look all like you know scared. <laughs> I I like that. That was actually cool. They, that, they they took a shot, and then I said, yeah. uh, well, their lives flash before, before their them, eyes, which is true. Yeah. Which is true. Like that was actually a decent moment. But other than that, yeah, I can't <laughs> really recall it's, much. It's like tiny. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it was just like, I'm trying to piece together, like, how they got from places to places. Um, yeah, yeah, so they turned Toad into a Goomba. Like, we didn't mention that, but he gets turned into a Goomba. And then they give him a harmonica for some reason, just so we, the audience, can recognize yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And then later on, Luigi, like, sees him again and is like, 
and then I and I turned to you. Yeah, I was like, wait. Does he not? They were in the same room together. They saw Toad get turned into the Goomba yeah. and then place the thing on. So Luigi was like, and then you said, well, this movie is so forgettable that even Luigi forgot about Toad. <laughs> Totally forgot about Toad, yeah. Oh, God, totally. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of other things to say here. Uh, I was disappointed at at, to, to Al, at the end where the king is, is brought back to human form. Oh, yes, for some reason, without being hit by an evolution ray or, like, being placed back into the chair where he rides up. I don't know why they kept the, like, the... I, I think it might be because of Dennis Hopper's character putting the royal seat there. I was like... Why would you put it there? It's like, oh, it's probably because Dennis Hopper's character is a sick fuck. <laughs> but yeah, so the, he, he comes back, and it's like, oh, hey, that, that's cool. He, but there's no reunion, luck. right? That was just kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. Him and Daisy don't uh, reunite. Oh, right. I was, you remember when the, they were trying to go back? It was like, a, hey, it's solid. And then uh, and then I was like, and then Daisy takes out the rock and like makes it all like limp again so that he can go through. Yeah. I was like, how'd they get through the first time? Then, because for Iggy and Spike to go through, and if they needed that rock, yeah, how did they get through the rock in the first place? Because only Daisy had it. Then, was... Which going back even further, how did King Koopa go through it, or did he come through afterwards? And like when you shoot the rock, it has like a thirty-minute uh, window of opportunity for you to go through. Maybe that's how you yeah. get through. It, it was like <laughs> you can't go through without the rock. It looked like, but we didn't. You didn't establish that. It was just like they could go through it, but it was just like, like a hidden area. Oh, oh, remember yeah. the dig site? They said there was a dig site, but guess where it is? It's it's under the sewers. The sewers. <laughs> I thought this was a dig site, not the sewers. No. Nah. <laughs> and there was no underground theme, by the way. No, no <laughs> underground <laughs> theme, no. Yeah, it just it just missed the mark. I forget, there's one scene that kind of summed up the whole movie. Remember, like, I was joking that, oh, they're giving, Iggy and Spike are giving the rating of the movie. What did they say again? Something like, like zero out of five. Or, zero five or something. I forgot. But yeah, it was a zero out of five, guys. And uh, one part that also baffled you is where uh, they see, they notice Daisy even running in the streets, and they say two legs. Two oh, <laughs> Iggy and Spike are so stupid. Here's how they found Daisy or tried to find. It's like, yeah. it's like, hey, Spike. So uh, how do we know uh, how to find uh, Daisy, this person? Was it two legs, two. Uh, and then what else? Was it two arms, two legs, and what else? Two legs, one head, and two arms. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> this this movie gives kids cancer. Okay, it radiates cancer. Oh man, it, it's just bad. Like uh, I know it's kind of may sound like we're blowing out of proportion, but no, I uh, this movie I actually this movie hurts. It does. And then I asked you afterwards, like, um, which is worse, this movie or Pocket Ninjas? I mean. In terms and of like, Pocket Ninjas is pretty bad. Too, yeah, in terms of production value, yeah, this had I guess the special effects going for it, but and it was just yeah slightly competent yeah. filming. But Pocket Ninjas, I mean, it was very amateurish. Uh, it wasn't really basing itself off a video game or trying to tie into anything. So I guess we could forgive it more for that. But yeah, this is unforgivable, guys. I mean, like. This is based on a hugely successful franchise, and they just shat on it. <laughs> yeah, so basically what, yeah. I said, what I said was, like, uh, like Pocket Ninjas in this movie are pretty bad. And I still own Pocket Ninjas. They're both pretty bad, but Pocket Ninjas did not destroy anything. It was just its own yeah, stupid its own movie. Creation, so it's like, it didn't destroy anything. But this, Mario Brothers, we only you would only ever watch this if you were a Mario or a fan of Nintendo, and you wanted to see, like, a Mario movie, which you sh this one you shouldn't. No, should. This movie just destroys everything. The sad thing is comparing this with Pocket Ninjas is this film unfortunately pocketed more money than Pocket Ninjas which is sad. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think Pocket Ninjas ever made a movie release. No, if it straight, did it would be pretty sad. Yeah, it'd be pretty straight, sad. To probably straight to DVD. But yeah this maybe should have been straight to uh, to VHS at the time honestly. Maybe this should have been straight to the garbage yeah, dump. The garbage dump yeah. Plumbing. <laughs> Oh my god! You know how some films, like on the back, it says like, uh, like it's made of recycling. It doesn't even say it can be recycled. So I guess yeah, that's how bad it is. Jeez. Uh, the running time. I, I don't think you'd want to recycle this piece of shit. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yeah. It's usually on the side, you know, has that the recycling. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. See this? That's this movie's on, This movie is a uh, hundred and four minutes, which translates to one hour and uh, forty-four minutes. Yeah. 
pretty much. Not worth it. Well, at least it's no. short and not like a two hour. Well, short as in as yeah, short as it it's could not have two been. hours, but then. <laughs> Anything else you say about this? I'm trying to quickly scan through my brain about the movie. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else, and if I did, I'd have to do like a. I would have to do like a review and point out all the things that just hurt. Yeah. That just, oh, it was just so stupid. <laughs> I can't really recall anymore. I'm trying to forget it already, guys. I'm trying to fight it. So I forget this. Get a little body. Oh, in this movie. what about the scene where Mario and Luigi were dancing with the Goombas on oh, the, the elevator? elevator? Yeah. That was so stupid. Was Mario was bad. like, "How'd you know they danced?" He goes, "I had a feeling." I got a feeling. He always says, doesn't he? He had a feeling. He was like, I had a feeling. And people love dancing. And I was like, <laughs> how, what, the, you are so goddamn high. Yeah. Oh, Luigi. Oh, Luigi. Yeah, I think this film, I mean, it definitely was trying to, I don't know if it was trying to compete with Jurassic Park, but it, I mean, the fact that it was having and dinosaurs related. as a central theme, yeah, it seemed like it was trying to a little bit. I mean, even... <laughs> Even Last Action Hero... Uh, I, don't, you I said, enjoyed Last Action yeah, Hero. It was good, but it, it did take a shot at one scene where, like, it was... I think it was, like, a parody of Jurassic Park, remember? Like, that one scene, like, where it was, um, I think they were filming, like, a movie within a movie kind of thing, and there was, like, a Jurassic... There was, like, a dinosaur. So they were... Yeah, a lot of movies were trying to make references to Jurassic Park at the time because it was widely successful. For good reasons. But unfortunately, in this, in this case, yeah, this was the complete opposite. Uh, yeah. I mean, I cannot recommend this movie to anyone, guys. Honestly, it's just... I, mean, I definitely would not recommend... Uh, super... Oh, super, right, before I forget... What would you have said as the uh, as your tagline for... Um, it blows. Yeah, actually, that's good. I would say super forgettable. That's what would be my quote. This ain't no game. Super. It's a shitty live-action <laughs> adaption. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, before I forget... Yeah. You know how it's like, oh, the dinosaurs evolved into humans... Like, I just couldn't get it out of my out of my head where like Dennis Harper's character keeps saying like you mammals. It's like we both have hands and we're almost the same. It's like what's up with you? Like if they did truly evolve, they wouldn't have looked human. This is why it should be animated and not a live action. This was just a waste of everyone's time and killed <laughs> killed more chances for video game adaptions. Well, I was trying to warn. Warren Wizard were not to watch it, but you really wanted to, to to see what it was about. It's just one of those things <laughs> where you just have to see it for yourself to truly comprehend the horrors that is the movie. Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, that's terrible. I'm glad I didn't watch it by myself, though, because I yeah. honestly, I wanted to turn it off at one point, but I was like, we got to sit this through and yeah. see it through. Well, we didn't have to, but I wanted us to, so then we can also bring you this vlog and archive this. Uh, brother. So do you have anything else to say? Because I honestly don't. Nah. I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember what we're talking about. So, stay away from Super Mario Brothers the movie and grab yourself a one-up. And promise we'll be back. Yes. So stay tuned for more. Hit the red button. Oh. <laughs>